Hello and welcome to episode 8 of my Terraria Calamity Mod playthrough. Plan for today remains what we said it was going to be, but uh, we're going to have a bit of a detour first. Um, because I remembered that we had something in store and it reminded me of a thing. If I press P, um, I will slide this over for the 21 by 9 viewers. This is a list of basically all of the challenges and all of the bosses um, coming from, I think, boss checklist. So this is literally just the checklist of everything. Um, and Torch God is the second thing in this list, which reminded me what Torch God was and whether or not it would be worth getting. Um, if we press P, we also get this nice little thing here, uh, which gives us... Again, it's a list of all the bosses in the order that we're probably supposed to take them on, but this one also, um, if we have this enabled to display everything, will show us Torch God as well. Um, it's worth doing, but it's going to be hard to do with the amount of health we have, which is why I'm going to give it one attempt. Uh, we're going to set up an arena for it, and we're going to see whether or not we can actually pull it off. Um, I'm guessing no, but... We won't know until we try. At the very least, I want swiftness potions. An iron skin if we have it. If not, it's easy enough to craft. Okay, swiftness, iron skin. I also want to max out the defense we can or max out our defense by way of our accessories. Uh, so that one's fine, that one's fine. We have three items that we can swap out for something that have better defense. That has defense on it. Uh, we already have a high defense version of that. It's one defense. One defense. Since we can't guarantee that we can um, outrun this or outheal it, we need as many advantages as we can get. So let's grab you. Bring the campfire with us as well. This needs to be done underground, so we'll use our. Um, Uh, or the area we have assigned for them um, growing our gem trees. Okay. I don't know whether or not that's enough space. I might need one more though. That's going to cause a problem. Uh, let me pop all of those out. We don't want them to be a part of this. Oh yeah, we're going to need to put more space down than this. Actually no, not much. We're getting close. So yeah, let's um, remove torches in locations that I'm going to be directly running through. I don't want these ones firing at me. The ones on the side aren't, I'm not too worried about, but still. There we go. Oh, we have successfully mitigated most of the damage. I'm again sent off. Torches fired at us from every angle. So something I absolutely forgot to... ...get before I started this. Oh, 
was an obsidian skull. I should have crafted an obsidian skull. Probably actually just stand in the water. There we go. That did not go as badly as I thought it was going to. Which is weird because I was expecting that to deal um, at least 80 damage a pop. Our defense is only 48 though. But anyway, we have the Torch God's Favor. <laughs> gives us a toggle. I can't remember where that toggle is. There it is. Biome Torch Swap On. Oh, I thought that was an item that I needed to get, not that I just had. Duly noted. Right, let me clean up this mess. And then I will be right back with you once we are back at base because we have some things to craft and collect before we go skyward. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. So, the things that we want to craft. One of them I may not actually currently have enough stuff for. I may need to go and connect, collect some more snow, but I want to get some armor upgrades and some weapon upgrades. So, because I'm fairly sure I'm going to need more for that, let's start with the easy one. The easy one being the diamond staff. Um... Can we just straight up craft it? There it is. One diamond staff. Eh, could be a better enchant. Um, we're going to be replacing this. In fact, we're basically replacing all of these. Um, the taboo storm jewel staff I can't take with us because it's not going to be useful um, while we're in the air, so we won't worry about that. Next. I need to make a tender bow, I think it is. One of these. Let's upgrade our arrows. We're going to need more torches. Just normal torches. Oh, right, we need um, slime for that. Okay, plenty more spare torches, so that can come up here. So we've done those two. Um, I was going to swap out the melee weapon. Or was I? I think I need to craft it anyway. Um, let me just double check. I think we need this for Knight's Edge, which is needed for True Knight's Edge, which is needed for Terra Blade, which is needed for the Zenith, etc. Okay. So we do need to craft it anyway. We may as well craft it then. Um, Because at the minute we don't really have a um, sweeping attack weapon that we can use. Uh, I'm going to be upgrading the Gleaming Dagger, or replacing it more accurately, rather than upgrade it. The Shroomerang is really, really nice to have. This is obviously the goal is to get an upgrade for this. That's is why we're doing all of this. Um, okay, good. that's got a decent fire rate to it. And a decent travel speed. That's not a material, so we can sell it. Are there any other duplicates in here that we are not material and can sell? We can sell that. Where did our frost wand go? We crafted a frost wand. 
It should be in here. Probably shouldn't keep these in here. Um, that's the flinch. Um, I need a chest that I can put down to put in weapons we actually want to be using. But we don't have the inventory space to hold at the minute. So, for example, we are going to come back to this. I don't think that can be upgraded. No, the weapon I'm going to craft can be upgraded. So that one can be put away. Because we are specifically replacing it. We'll put this in here for now. We'll keep this on us. We'll sell those. I do like keeping a store of all the weapon or one of each weapon, even if I don't use it, uh, even if I'm not using them. Uh, I know this will pierce through at least one target, which is probably going to be good enough for um, boss fights and everything that we need it for. Would have been nice if that had been crafted with stats, but never mind. The throwing knives would be nice until we get rid of them all. I'm going to be getting eventually, I think. The Desert Scourge gets us. Oh, we might find one in the air, um, a replacement sentry. I think the Desert Scourge drops this, but I could be wrong. Caustic Croaker. But yeah, I would like a different sentry. Okay, um, so let's craft, we come over to here, weapons, throw in, we need, where are you, what about rarity, this is what we're crafting, which needs a stack of wolfram knives, three fallen stars and three diamonds. I don't think we've used all our knives. We definitely have plenty of fallen stars. And we have enough um, life crystals to max our health out, but again, I don't want to push it above 200 until we've done all the bosses before um, the Eye of Cthulhu, and then we'll push it over 200 and start dealing with everything else. Um, okay, so if I had them, I left them in here. Okay, we need to craft some more. Fair enough. There we go. Ruthless, not bad. Doesn't travel as far though. Good for area clear. Um, well, that's going to be good for area clear, I should say. So that's that. So the next thing is to get the appropriate armor set for it, um, which is actually the item that we don't have the things for, but we can collect that easy enough. So I've already opened up armor sets. If you open this up for the first time, um, it does seem it takes seconds to calculate. It took closer to two minutes of the game just hanging dead for it to actually finally finish calculating. Um, but the thing that we're going to get is this set here, uh, which is the Snow Ruffian set, which is, I think, the lowest level... Um, uh, what's it called? The lowest level rogue set you can get. Um, this one here would require us to actually... This is the Summoner set lowest level or tier summoner set you can get which was another option but this requires us to actually get down to um what's it called down to the lava level because we need to be able to find a hell forge to craft this and this one actually specifically needs tissue samples but the rogue set for whatever reason does not the rogue set just requires us to find 
snow blocks and phoenix fur. And we have the latter, but we don't have enough snow blocks, so we're going to have to go and get some more. So, with that in mind, I will be right back. The snow biome's not too far away, but... It's going to take us a little while to get there. Ah, I suppose that's one of the problems. The other knife passed through enemies. Whereas this one just seems to shatter. Interesting. What other options do we have for around about this rarity? Boss drops by the looks of it. Or monster drops. Meteor Fist is the first one after that, and that's obviously going to require meteors, which is obviously going to need bosses to be killed. Feather Knife. Now, like that. I'm getting the feeling we're probably going to get this today. I go to. Um, I haven't actually looked for the source of this. Actually, no, I have looked for the source of this. The source of this is a crafting uh, item. We need this. Which I'm assuming, given that it's called an ore. Oh no! That implies it's monster drops. I believe. This little dot here, I think, means that it's a monster drop. This means it's craftable. Which means this stuff is got from something in the bestiary. There it is, arrow slimes. Okay, anyway, we need snow, so I'll go get some snow and I'll be right back. Okay, we have our snow. Hopefully we have enough. Uh, I might actually make the um, the other summon while I'm at it. Uh, am I missing something? snow block phoenix fur am i just not close enough i just wasn't close enough that's all it was okay uh, let's also set all of this stuff back to the way it was it's a shame that doesn't split uh what does the bow do with this thing okay that shoots a lightning bolt Okay, um, I'm going to set this on a different loadout. So there is a reason I wanted to craft this. It has a special ability. When we have the entire set equipped... Hey, we now have stealth. Um, as well as doing additional rogue damage, um, we can glide to negate our fall damage. by holding space, I think. Let's test that up here. Okay, which is going to help with where we're going. Um, that only gives us nine defense, though. Whereas this lot has 27 defense. Um... Let's think. Uh, I want to change over my accessories. I don't want to max out my damage. I am concerned about how much damage the um, harpies are going to do. Uh, 
Uh, I don't want to be taking that with me. I wish I could lock this to basically all sets. It'd be kind of nice. Okay. So we're sacrificing a decent amount of defense, which may be a problem because harpies, if memory serves, do not mess around, they hurt. This is a special summon. I'm worried about it in a minute, it's not on our list. Let's make this staff. Because we have a large amount of platinum. Where is it in the list? I'm tempted to replace, or I would be tempted to replace my um, slime grappling hook with one of these because it's longer range, but having multiple grapple points is really handy for if you want to crawl along underneath something. Where we're we going, we may get a lucky horseshoe, but we have armor to negate fall damage and we can teleport away if we need to anyway. Um, are they just not close enough? There it is. Okay. So yeah, that summons one of you. The problem is you don't fly. There's a decent copy of it, but yeah. It doesn't fly. Um, I think we are more or less ready once we've grabbed the potions we're actually going to need to get up there. And then I might also take with me the materials I'm going to need to um, uh, yeah, I might also take with me the materials I'm going to need to craft the X in the bottles. So 50 snow and a bottle, uh, 50 snow and a bottle, and then the clouds we can get up there. So we need two bottles. Now we only need to craft. Well, no, we we should craft two, one for each um, set, even if we are planning to combine them all together. So yeah, let's take with us 50 snow, and then two bottles. Bottles, 50 snow, uh, the reason we grab the conch is because um, the way that I'm going to do this is starting from one side and sweep along and we'll just see how far we get. Uh, oh, we have way more gravity potions than I thought we, would, uh, we had, that's excellent. How about feather falling potions? We don't need them. I'm just wondering how many we have. We have one of them. Okay. Do I need anything else? Um, the inner bottles require an anvil to craft. So let's take that, that, that was not the anvil. anvil. We don't have many spaces left but that's fine that's what the piggy bank is for. Eventually we will actually sort out magic storage but I'm wondering whether or not I should wait until um, we have our final house built. Speaking of that reminds me party girl you caused me a problem now I've got to do something.
Then these NPCs know all they're doing is creating me more cleanup to have to do later. How inconsiderate of them. Okay. I think we have everything. Let's... Oh yeah, I forgot I did this. up. I didn't notice that. My stealth meter is stuck in the middle of the screen. Middle of the screen. That was actually what I was trying to get. off screen? We did do. Eh? I need this to zoom out far enough. There we go. That I can actually see where I'm sweeping. There. clouds. What's in our chest? Lucky horseshoe. We don't need it at the minute but it's good to have. Sky mill. Oh it's always even got some cloud blocks in here. Uh, we haven't got enough yet. 
these. These are... Whatever that was, it despawned and it got away. Okay, so this thing can just jump really high up and just harass them and lock them down. Whatever this is, we can't mine it. Interesting. We have now, however, uh, it's an anvil. And a bottle. Nothing special. Let's put that in here, along with the horseshoe. Using a healing potion will spoil a lingering aura. This aura grants life regeneration players who are inside it for five seconds. Or oh, um, stealth strikes do a lot of damage. And so do harpies in general. Shit, I'm gonna die. I shouldn't have done this at night time, I should have waited until it was daytime. We most definitely cannot head outside until we have healed. What is this ore then? Our gravity potions will have disabled by now. One kind of abusive thing about um, multi-monitor support is obviously we can... There's no door on this one. Ooh, Star Fury. That is something we need for later. Something we need now, though. The biggest problem with the harpies is I just can't see that projectiles at the minute. Fish dropped anything though. Okay, continuing on. Let's turn that off so we can actually see how long is left in our gravity potion. Okay, 
just like. Ah, planetoid. We have 18 seconds to land on that thing. This is just... I don't know, there's something inside it. Did we kind of skip or miss any of these? No, this is the first one we found. for that but I do want to keep the clouds. Oh wait we actually have enough um lizard in the bottle. This looks like just a massive copper asteroid. Ah, damn it, that's a pain. Good, but it works. Today if I actually want to get all the um, books around here. Honey blocks in the honey chest. Arcane Celestial Magnet, isn't that an upgraded version? I 
think that's an upgraded version. I don't remember you normally getting those straight off the bat. Oh damn it, we need um we should have brought some and that spring water. Minecart, damn. Of all the things it could have given me, it gave me the worst one. Okay, we have another island up over there. Disenchanted Everlight. I get the feeling that that's spring water. Or is it just because, um, I don't know, it's just because of the biome we're in. That's all it is. So much easier way of collecting loot. <laughs> Other than the fact that the harpies are constantly harassing you and they deal 80 or not 80 damage a pop, they delete. Um, they do damage, they do a lot of damage, they hurt. Other than that. Right, which would be weird. into heading in one direction is it going to drop anything? Just gold. Is this tin? No, this is iron. Which doesn't spawn in our world. Our gravity potion is still active. Again, just another copper. That one's a bit bigger. Ah, that's one of the things we're looking for. Now, I believe... Yes, I saw gun turrets. And there's another honey one. and right inside so is there a chest in here? Yeah there is. That's a fact. 
batteries, recharge stations. Planters! Okay. I was not expecting to find planters, but I will take planters. Um, that's a problem though, because I think that means that we don't have anywhere near enough inventory space for all of this. God damn you. Ooh, prototype plasma core. I know we need those. Low orbit study. Oh, I meant to use the one of those that we had downstairs. Way, pick these up. Click to view its contents. Don't think that quite works. Above in the skies. Some kind of law. to all those slots over here. Oh, damn it, I didn't think that thing. So I'll be able to move in those, but we do still need to replace that. the circuitry and stuff from it. Uh, we may as well poke into there since it's right next to us and then... Oh, we're sitting over the top of our home. Who needs to teleport back? To back? We can just drop down. We will teleport down though because it's marginally faster. Okay. Encrypted schematic, which we don't have a translation for in the minute. I am surprised that we um, found the planters. It's a little weird. I can't complain because the planters are what we need for um, growing these. So we needed it for our base anyway. But yeah. It's, um, did not quite expect. Okay, we don't need to bring this with us anymore. Monster drops. We don't need the conch anymore. Let's put that away. Um, I'm tempted to leave a whole, leave a bunch of these in our inventory for now because we can't do anything with them. Uh, we are going to need to run over to here so that we can sweep this area here just to get rid of it. Before heading back up there, let's empty out this. Can 
you get out of the way of the chest, please? Yes, yes, I, I don't particularly care about all of that. Can you move? Thank you. Uh, I don't think I need this for anything currently. Yeah, we need this for that. Eye of the Sun. I think that's just decorator decorative. Did we have a chest for random decorative stuff? to put that down so we'll go in here bricks I'll put that in with monster drops even though technically it's not I'm sure I picked up some paintings or something else elsewhere and I put them in a chest there we go use this one for stuff that is basically just a, a decorative. Honey I believe can be used in potions, although it's technically a potion in and of itself so we'll put that in there, put that in there, that's decorative. can't convert all of these torches down into normal torches. That'll be very, very useful. Okay, I will quickly just reveal this section of the map and I will be right back once we're back at... Um, where we were halfway across the sky. Okay. gift good we do need that it's in the bag oh I thought that bag had, had something This wasn't what I was looking for, but it'll do. <laughs> I wanted to place a temporary hide. Yay! We have a balloon in a bottle. Oh, 
There's a balloon in a bottle. Just a red balloon. We need three of these in total. We're probably going to have to craft some of them, but now that we have one of them, we can make a... Well, we will be able to make, eventually, once we have the Tinker's Table, um, a Lucky... I think it's called a Lucky? Lucky... Um, start in a bottle? Now, why did you not heal me for the amount that I expected you to? Or is that because this is reduced? We don't need that anymore. We got the upgraded version of it already, unless there's multiple upgraded versions. Because that goes to diving gear, then to jellyfish gear, and we already have an arctic, uh, arctic diving gear. So yeah, we've already been given an upgraded version of this. We don't actually need it. Uh, let's throw some stuff away. One thing I've not yet found down here, any gold chests. They've all been chests of different types. For example, here's another honey one. What do we get that for? Damn it. Way too many of them. I could only just see the sod in them things. Our golden grave, we're going to be somewhere down here. Things were going so well! Goddamn beehive blocks! That is effectively what killed me. There's our gold. Where's our grave? My grave may have landed on the island. I'd be shocked if it actually landed, but... actually isn't a chest in here. Oh no it is, it's underground, underwater. That's not an item I'm familiar with. Oh, it's an upgrade of the fairy boots. Oh no, it's an item for the fairy boots. It must just be a different model then. Uh, 
I need to check what the merchant has. We still have some gravity potion on, uh, on us, so... Uh, traveling merchant, where the hell are you? What are you doing up there? Uh, damn it, you said in the DPS meter, we already have one of those. I need the other two parts from him. Huh. There really is nothing in this one. Oh, that seems a little... Well, we found the grave, but it seemed a little, um, low level. Can we make it? We can make it. All of our planetoids? We may have explored everything. With possible exception of maybe one or two um, sky islands. Horseshoe. I think we only need the one of them. Unlike balloons and bottles. Ah, there's you are. We knew this existed somewhere. We have found our corrupt island. Filled with demonite ore. Ah, we need a key for this though. Do I have one of those keys? I kind of get a feeling I may have picked one up, but I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to go back to base to check. We can get some demonite here if we need it. What the devil is that? Did it despawn? Despawn while I was trying to. Um... Oh no, there it is. to me. Did you seriously follow me all the way down here? Gotcha. I 
gravity potion then out. Okay. We've got to be almost there. Last potion this should be. So yeah, fully scouting all of this out is going to take the entire episode. We are 1 hour 16 minutes into the recording, but I know that we're cutting out at least 5 minutes worth of stuff. There's probably some other stuff we can get rid of as well. But it looks like there is nothing else here. Uh, I want to grab some sand from this place before I leave. Um, because the sand can be used to make a potion to reduce the effect of sulfuric um, poisoning. And I think one of our next bosses is actually a part of this. Does this drop the kind of wood it does? Yes, we do need this kind of wood. While I'm here, I really should double or look up um, I really should look up whether or not other weapons have stealth strikes. It doesn't look like it. Oh! Steam vent does damage. plant some of these. corrupt in this area? I'm not sure. Anyway, we said we wanted to get some of the sand. How much of this sand do we need? I think we only really need it for the potions. It's 15 per potion. I do need a bunch of it for summon item. It's a bait. Okay, let's um Come 
collect a little bit more. I'll tidy this place up uh, and then we will meet you back at base to go through all of our loot. Okay, we're back. We won't worry about sorting through the, uh, um, the stuff that we got. You've seen most of it, so I'll figure that out. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Friday where we will be taking on the Desert Scourge one way or another. That will be the plan. So thanks again, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.